Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to shed some light on what could seem like a a, a, con a conflict or a paradox, the law of attraction versus the law of allowing, manifesting what you want versus surrendering to what is, controlling, being in control, or letting God or the, your higher power uh, have the steering wheel. And the, I've been in both camps many times in my life. Uh, the 12 steps of recovery has helped me recognize that my ego has created the illusion of control and that it has got me into all kinds of trouble. And that sense of, oh, I am powerless, but there is a higher power that can if I ask sincerely, can guide my life. And that's been so helpful. And then other times, the law of attraction, manifesting, visualizing, Abraham Hicks uh, has been really empowering when I needed that medicine. Are the two in juxtaposition? Not at all. It's like the in-breath and the out-breath of spirituality. And depending on what medicine is most appropriate for you, you'll be drawn to one or the other, probably both uh, at certain points in your life. Now, I remember when these two worlds came together for me, it was, let's say, 20, 25 years ago, I had... Uh, started an East Coast uh, tour, which I had done for like 30 years. Every spring, I would go up and down the East Coast selling books and music and giving concerts and workshops. And I packed these two very heavy suitcases with books and, and CDs. Well, <clears throat> on this particular trip, my first stop in Massachusetts uh, to co-lead a weekend on relationships that I had been leading for 25 years. And this particular trip, very few people bought any CDs or books. So I packed up my bags at the end of the, 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 the retreat and they were so heavy. And my next stop was New York City to visit my mother. And I couldn't imagine the energy it would take to take public transportation like I usually did, buses and trains to get to my mother's house, six hours of traveling. It was unfathomable. And my back, my lower back, as I picked up my bags, said enough, enough. And at that point, I, I prayed and I said, you know, universe, help, help me. I, I can't carry these bags anymore. I was in my 40s and or whatever, and it was just too painful. And a part of me knew that it wasn't God's will for me to suffer like that, that I was taking on too much heaviness and assuming responsibility in ways that came from unworthiness, that came from old belief patterns that I was ready to challenge and let go of. So I asked for help and I walked into the retreat after having this heartfelt prayer with the universe. And uh, we were about to close the retreat. Somebody came up to me and said, so where are you going next? And I said, I'm on my way to New York. And by the way, I had no idea how I was going to receive help. I had no idea what I was going to manifest, if I could manifest. I had just given it to God. And so this person just came up to me and said, so where are you off to next, Scott? And I said, I'm going to see my mother in New York City. And, and he said, oh, that's interesting. That's where we're going, him and his, his wife. And he said, so where, where does your mother live? And I said, uh, the Upper West Side. And he said, oh, that's where we live. W exactly where? And I said, 66th between blah, 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 Amsterdam and Columbia. And he he said, that's where we live. Long story short, he offered to give me a lift to my mother's house. He took the bags and delivered them straight to my mother's house. 
And I felt gratitude, immersed in gratitude, not just for this man, but for the universe showing me in living color that when you sincerely ask and you're ready to raise your consciousness from unworthiness and struggle to something more receptive and easy, that you know the universe responds to sincere prayer and sincere willingness. And so did I manifest that? I didn't feel like I manifested it. I felt like I surrendered my limited belief system and surrendered control. Because when I lifted those bags year after year, I was in control. It was This was my trip, my journey, my baggage. Haven't lifted bags like that for 25 years. You can tell, you know, I don't have much in the way of, of muscles, but I don't need the muscles. It's grace that carries the load for me. So the law of attraction, the law of allowing, surrender, control, it's all good. And you get to discern and intuit, what is my next step? Where? What is the medicine for this phase of my journey. Hope this was helpful and have a wonderful day.